since we're talking like valuations of like NFTs, that was another thing Stacks was really interested in because he's like, you're really big on the tokenization of real world assets. And Fink has started talking like that as well. But is there any data you're looking at um, to support that thesis? Um, that was one thing Stacks asked. And uh, I, Alpha I mean, for the okay, uh, so Golden like Retriever Anything Bros. where they're trying to put like credit on chain real estate. I mean, you can start to just go look at fractions of that valuation relative. Like it just pieces of it, right? Yeah. Um, the numbers are, enor are enormous. If you, if you really think about it, um, it was an interesting thing to see today. I don't know if you saw Ondo, um, which went up like 70%, I think. Let me check. I got it. Cause someone hit me up about it. And then I actually put some tweets out saying like, there's more evidence of the real world asset trend happening and Ondo launched and yeah, dude, it's up 110% today. And up on your, on your chart, what's the uh, ticker? I haven't looked at it, but do you know what the fully diluted valuation is on it? <laughs> no. 2.2 billion. Diluted. So this is the first time that we actually saw like one of these things go there. And so is this the spark for the other things? Cause like the other ones are small, like the, the relative, the whole market cap in that space is pretty small relative to like the rest of the market. And the total addressable market that it could potentially be going after. Um, the possibilities kind of become endless with that whole term of like real world assets. Like that's just saying that like anything can be put on chain, like tokenizing anything. If you go look at, if you kind of go look at what gaming and metaverse, like why that stuff went up so high and why there was so much money pouring into that space was because every single pitch deck was saying like there's this many gamers in the world right and it's like well are there really um and then they look at video game valuations and then they start to look at when facebook and like changes their name to meta and then all those value like sandbox went to like nine billion or something sandbox right box and jewel when, yeah yeah then you <laughs> so if you think real world assets can do something stupid be and then that type of thing catches on then like this stuff is dumb cheap and like it's it that's where you get like multiples higher on these things so no i haven't do, like done any like stacks is very like detail oriented and looks into a lot of data i'll tell you right off the bat that i'm a bullet point investor and i just need a couple things to make me super high convicted an idea if i think that's where money is going was there's like these little data points we were seeing there's like significant amount of con conviction from that when you hear Larry Fink say something like that. Yeah, it's, and, and even just like taking a step back from that, it's like, this is literally the stuff we were dreaming about in 2017. Yep, this was it. And so it's like- It's here. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, Clearpool, dude, they're a hundred million dollar valuation, fully diluted valuation, and they're 47 million. Um, on a circulating basis. And this is basically credit on chain. And they have a lot of like data to show that they're growing. And so a rising tide lifts all boats. Like, you know, Ondo was like kind of like one today that really shined. Um, and we've seen like when one sector or coin in the sector goes, then like people start to look at it all, right? Gaming, gambling, is it, there's no difference. It's just a different, it's a different, uh, it's a different ball of money moving to a different part of the space. Absolutely. IXS yeah. was another one someone told me about. Now, now people are just tagging like real world asset type things that like, here, 69 million fully diluted valuation, 60 million circulating. Another like attractive thing is that because to your point, this stuff happened, like these coins have been around for a while, like they might've gone up and then they have flatlined, but the people that invested in that, or, you know, they're, they're basically fully vested makes it more attractive because it's unlike, you know, the Solana ecosystem where the FTVs were astronomically high and they just get sold into on every unlock. So, uh, I think Ondo obviously is 2.2 billion FTV, but 
the circulating supply is going to be much lower. Can that one go up a lot? Yeah, but then maybe it gets sold a lot faster because of the unlocks. Um, but yeah, I mean, real world assets, like I think you can just look up that actual uh, category on CoinMarketCap. I'm on my phone right now just because I usually do this over here. Uh, market <laughs> categories, uh, RWA, let's see here. I use CoinGecko more than CoinMarketCap too. 